I'm going to show you how to draw hair with graphite pencils. Hello, my name's Gemma and I'm here to help you improve your drawing skills. If it's your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss a tutorial. This is the last video in the series of drawing this lady with graphite pencils. If you want to catch the previous videos, there are links in the description with a playlist showing all of them. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know I'm using six graphite pencils ranging from 2H at the hardest up to 6B at the softest. I like to work up through layers blending between each one. All right, let's crack on. So I'm going to start with a 2H pencil, but first things first, I'm going to make sure my pencil is nice and sharp. This is always important, but it's especially important when drawing hair so you can get the fine hairs in. The motions I'm using to draw her hair are flicking soft motions in the direction of her hair. It's best to be quite gentle with this to start with and not press too hard. It helps to create soft hair that I can see in my reference photo. If you were to go in straight away with a really dark pencil, any mistakes you might make would be obvious and difficult to fix. I'm looking at the photo constantly as I draw. When you look at her hair, it's sorted into clumps of hair rather than a whole bunch of individual strands. So the goal is to draw the sections rather than the hairs. You can start to see those sections coming together already. I'm varying pressures I use with the pencil a little bit, being extremely light on the very light hairs and slightly firmer on the darker hairs. There are some areas near her face which are really dark, but I'm just leaving them for now. Now I'm happy with the 2H pencil, I'm going to blend the layer. This helps to create a more solid graphite base. I don't want to lose the texture I've created though, so I'm going to use a piece of tissue rather than a blending stump. Tissue creates a much softer blend and retains some of the detail. I'm just working through blending in the direction of the hair. Now I'm going again in the same way using the HB pencil. I'm still drawing clumps of hair rather than individual strands and still using flicking motions. On this pass, I'm ignoring the very lightest strands of hair as they've already been covered by the 2H. Do check your pencil from time to time and sharpen it if needed. If you're working with a blunt pencil, you'll find your lines go down much thicker and less precise. When you're drawing something like hair, you really need that precision and control as well as nice fine lines. This creates the illusion of individual strands of hair. One of the best drawing tools I ever bought was a high quality pencil sharpener. I use the Swordfish Icon. It's far from the most expensive on the market, but it does exactly what I need and has replaceable blades, so it's definitely an investment I would recommend. You can see at this point it's looking like hair, but it's got no contrast at the moment and is looking a bit washed out. That just means everything is on track at this point to add the detail and realism with the softer pencils. I'm moving on to the B pencil and starting to build up some of the darker areas. Her hair is quite a bit darker by her parting because of this slight shadow that's being cast. It's also darker on the right side of the picture as the light is coming from the left. We covered some of this in the last video whilst shading the skin. Even without a reference photo, you can already see a map of where the light will be reflecting off her hair. This can be seen based on the shadows it's casting on her face. Over on the left side, there's a patch of shadow around her left eye. This is being created by the hair in front of it blocking out the light. We should expect to see a light patch there. Over on the right side, we see her cheeks are in shadow. We can expect to see that continue and really darken that side of her hair as her face blocks out the light.
I'm giving it a very gentle blend with the tissue and then I'm onto the 2B pencil. It's at this point you can start to see the texture and contrast really begin to build up. On her hairline, I'm going to use a blending stump to smooth the hair out into her skin. I wouldn't use a blending stump on the rest of her hair, I'm just using it a tiny bit just to make the hairline less harsh. Another quick blend and on with the 4B. We're getting quite near the end now. You can see on the left there's a bright area where the light is reflecting. So now I'm at the darker pencils, I want to leave that bit alone and focus on the darker areas around it. If you ever make a mistake or feel like an area should be a little bit lighter than what you've drawn, you can always go over it with an eraser. I'm using an eraser pencil as I find them really easy to both control and create finer lines with. That said, a putty eraser or a razor with the corner cut off to create a fine point will work just as well. The really dark parts around her face are being filled in now and she's starting to look a lot more polished. As this area is in particularly dark shadow, I want it to be block colour, so I'm blending this as I go with a blending stump. A bit more building up with the 4B and I can blend it out with a tissue. Finally onto the 6B, I'm drawing the absolute darkest areas now so it's more of a touch up layer than the previous layers have been. And 
And that's another portrait signed and finished. But don't panic, I'll be starting another series very soon that you can draw along with, and the next one will have a splash of colour. Remember, work in layers going from the hardest pencil to the softest, using soft motions going in the direction of the hair. No scribbling, please. You can use a tissue to blend, which will allow you to keep the texture of the hair. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and why not subscribe before you go and watch another video? Doing so helps support me make more art tutorials for you. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.